welcome back to another glorious day on the homestead. Tamakoa Homestead, if this is your first time here, we are on a journey to transform this bare piece of land into a beautiful, beautiful, self-sufficient oasis for me and my family. And I'm bringing you along on this entire journey. And if you can hear that noise, that's what we're doing today is the last couple of weeks we've been struggling with water because I had a leak and the air started getting into the pipes which started creating negative pressure in the pipes and we couldn't get that incredibly good pressure we had. I was <laughs> sucking on a pipe for four hours the one day. Some other days we've just let it run so we can try and get rid of the air. Finally today when I opened up the pipes, everything seems to have fixed itself. Did you hear that? I just don't want to get myself wet. <laughs> and our pressure is back. Back to what it was. You can see that is really, really good. And I'm just quickly filling up the tank. It doesn't take long at all, but look at that. Let me just get it back in quickly. I do still need to get a fitting there so I can switch it on, on and off quite easy. But what we need to do today is to prevent this from happening again. I did make a rookie mistake, which I'm hoping you can learn through my mistakes. And that is, this is not a grenade. <laughs> this is an airlock and it is a ball valve airlock. And because we're running our water pipes over 600 meters all the way up there to the mountains where the waterfall is, there's obviously a really good opportunity for air to get into the pipe and just start collecting. And that's where these come into play. These air locks are going to be able to release any air that has got into the pipe and potentially cause negative pressure in the system. It's going to be interesting because we now have our full pressure back which is two and a half between two and a half and three bar so it's it's pretty good and we're going to have to cut that put this into running water close everything up i think we're going to get quite wet <laughs> but it's going to be fun and it's going to be securing our homestead's water supply with strong pressure that will hopefully sustain us so Let's do this! So this is the first time you can probably have a look at the setup. So this is the, the, the pipe and it runs all the way up. It's in a water furrow and this water furrow feeds the farm is further down um, and this is kind of what we're allowed to do is have a single pipe in the furrow that supplies water and there it is we're already quite high if you have a look through hop over if we look down down there that's where the land is so we're already quite high up mountain is right behind over here and what we're doing is we're going to the first place where the air valve needs to go and that is it's in a furrow and then the furrow has walls and then it rises to go over the furrow down into the next furrow on the side which the pipe is then running all the way down now what's happening is the air is traveling up the pipe potentially from the top and it's getting caught in that rise so that's where we need to put our first our first airlock and then we're going to walk down and pick up all the joins of the pipes put in airlocks over there as well so the first one is the one that's elevated and probably the one that's the biggest culprit of sucking all the air
got the first one in, clamps both sides, and then the whole thing can actually twist off over here, so then you'd have just water spraying up. The top comes off, and here's the water. There's a little ball over there, so it's basically like a little ball valve. And if I find a stick and push it down, see how it runs. There you go. The ball valve is now stopped. Now as soon as there's air in the system, the ball's going to drop and the water is then going to go around the ball and let the air out. There is a little bit of dripping of the water, which I can just assume is the ball just getting settled. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's working really, really well. So that was about as wet as I thought it would be. Noah is having the time of his life now, thinking he's a firefighter, and that's a pretty decent... <laughs> Did you wet yourself? Okay, and yeah, I mean that's a pretty decent amount of pressure. The little bit of air that got in from when we did the system is just busy coming out now. But it's pretty cool. I think it's going to work. I really, really, really do. I think during the videos you would have seen how the whole system works with the ball valve and the ball getting pushed with the pressure of the pipe of the water. And as soon as the water pressure drops slightly, the water can bubble past the ball, which will then let all the air come out, build the pressure back up. So I'm really hoping the system works because I really don't want to have to struggle for a couple of days like we've been without water and then ultimately what it resulted in is some of the trees dying that we planted because we couldn't water them or at least water them enough so there in the corner the only thing i still need to put into the water system here 
is our water meter. I forgot to bring it with me. So the water meter needs to go in just for interest sake to see how much water we're using. And then the final thing we need to do when it comes to water is a water test so that we know what are the dissolvable um, solids, what are all the readings of all the minerals so we know whether it's safe to drink or not. So I hope you enjoyed getting a little bit soaky with me. I hope you now understand the value of ball valves, airlocks, ball valve airlocks, whatever you want to call it. There's so many names for it. Either, either way, basically a system to release trapped air in a pipe, water system. It's really, really important. I learned the hard way. I hope you don't. And I hope you enjoyed this and got value out of it. And I hope that you are able to support this journey, support me through becoming a member. I share a whole bunch of extra member content that you don't get otherwise. You can also support us on Patreon. You can buy us a coffee to support us. There are many different ways that you can support this journey because it's a lot of hard work. And obviously there's a whole bunch of financial implications of it as well. And your support really, really helps a lot. Thank you to all of you for being awesome. And until next time, can't wait to see you again and happy homesteading.